Hello everyone and welcome to some Mr. FPGA news. This week we will be talking about the Nintendo 64 core, an alternate Mr. firmware, ports of Mr. cores to other FPGAs, and more. Also check out my channel sponsor Mr. Add-ons that provides everything you could need for your Mr. FPGA. Things like full kits, IO boards, and other accessories, and more. Now let's get back to the news. There's a drop-in firmware replacement for Mr. with the aim of creating a more accessible and less complicated gaming experience. It's called Gollum FPGA and some of its objectives are ease of use and just working. A developer wants to create a simple experience that doesn't require reading intensive tutorials and manuals to operate even the basic features. Everything included, no need to rely on terminal and keyboard entry for things like adding Bluetooth controllers or Wi-Fi networks. Extra features like including some optional cloud functions, a rethought user experience where you navigate a database and run games directly without loading cores. The project is still a work in progress, so there are some disadvantages. Currently, not a lot of cores are tested and working. Controller and keyboard support is still alpha and Bluetooth is still not supported. I think it's great that alternatives to the Mr. Firmware are being created as different people have different needs. So providing firmware that fulfill the needs of other users can only be a good thing. If you want more information regarding this project, you can check out the public Patreon post and you can also see a YouTube video showing it in action. You can now pre-order the Dual RAM JAMA I.O. board from Retro Castle at Castle Mania Games for $250. This board is for those who want to build an arcade Mr. setup for cores that make use of two RAM modules. It doesn't have to be plugged into an arcade cabinet as it contains a VGA port so it can be used as a standard Mr. setup. Anton Gale released the schematics of the final page of the Exidy Universal V2 hardware, which is a variant of the game Targ. The next step is to start the FPGA implementation of the game. Targ is an early vehicular combat game from the 1980s. If you happen to have the DE10 standard, which is different than the DE10 Nano, and the Arrow SOC kit FPGA boards, there is a developer that's been porting Mr. FPGA cores to those boards. Noemi, the developer, has already ported cores like the Nintendo 64, PlayStation, Saturn, and much more. But before you consider running out and getting one of these boards, consider that they are more expensive than the DE10 Nano, with the DE10 standard coming in at $500 and you must contact Jurassic directly in order to get pricing info for the Arrowkit SoC. But if you happen to already own these boards, check out Noemi's Twitter page and GitHub and Patreon for more information. For the Nintendo 64 core, more of the CPU data cache was worked on and the result was increased compatibility. Mario Tennis now runs and Paper Mario no longer crashes in Chapter 2. And also GoldenEye is stable, which is great news for the many fans of this classic. Robert also posted a new article on Patreon that goes into the technical details of the latest updates. These are always great reads and give insights on core development and the Nintendo 64 hardware. Mr. Addons released a newsletter that goes over some new products and future products. First, the Mr. Cade Versus is now available. This device allows you to link multiple arcade cabinets together so gamers can have an entire cabinet in multiplayer games. No more bumping shoulders. Then we see the Reflex Volt has arrived. These are power adapters designed for the Reflex Volt cables that allow you to connect your consoles using USB power delivery. They also work on all standard USB power delivery devices. So you are not limited to Mr. Addon's Vault cables. Next up is the arrival of the Reflex Control Super NES a board that's a non-destructive replacement to the Super NES controller board, allowing you to convert the Super NES gamepad into a low latency USB gamepad. Mr. Addons also has a page dedicated to newly released products, so check it out to keep up to date on those. We also get updates on upcoming products. First up is the Snack 64. This is a box that allows you to use four original Nintendo 64 controllers for the Nintendo 64 core via Snack. Then we are updated on the Reflex Prism, an HDMI to analog audio video DAC that contains dual analog outputs and hardware RGB to component and S video conversion. This device is useful for people who have dual SD RAM setups as the only way to connect to analog televisions is via the HDMI port. 
Mr. Addons also lets us know that they are putting the finishing touches on their newest I.O. boards that have built-in RGBS, component, S-video, and composite output. It is also powered through USB-C and contains a soft power toggle button. You can sign up at MrAddons.com to be notified of when these devices are released. And finally, we have stock updates for the Mr. JAMA board and the Reflex Adapt low latency device that lets you use original console controllers over USB. Both should be back in stock in mid-December. And that's it for this episode. Please also try to support Soars, the maintainer of the Mr. Project, and other Mr. Developers and contributors on support platforms such as Patreon and Ko-fi. Your hard work allows us to enjoy this amazing project. I also provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure you also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in block form and to get more retro related content. And if possible, support them on Patreon too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and this bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.